What I love about project-based learning is that it makes the learning come alive. In this video, I'll show you a project based on the NGSS science standards that helps students see why these science concepts are relevant and so crucial to their lives. Hello, my name is David Lee. Come for innovative teaching and learning. Stay for student empowerment. Hope you are doing well, and I hope you are ready to geek out about some project-based learning. Last school year, I co-led a professional development workshop at my school on project-based learning with Andrew Miller. Sean Smith, a passionate fifth grade teacher here in Singapore American School, attended the session and since then we have collaborated on a number of units, transforming them into project-based learning experiences. This particular project that we'll be focusing on was a science unit on matter. Special thanks to Mary Kate Burke, Sean Smith, and Matt Kish for collaborating with me on this project. Here are the standards we used. Examining these standards, I asked myself what professional would utilize these concepts and skills and how would they apply them within a real world context. This required me to get into my edupermaculture mindset, a mindset that helps me to simulate experiences or directly utilize behaviors, strategies, practices, and systems found in successful real world learning environments and integrate them into school learning experiences and ecosystems. With some investigating and research, I came across the world of personal care product development, specifically chemists who apply science concepts like matter, properties of matter, and chemical reactions to create personal care products like hand sanitizers or natural mosquito repellents. At the time, there were shortages of personal care products and empty shelves in stores due to panic buying. So I thought it would be a great provocation for students to create their own personal care products with these science concepts. From here, I created a learning narrative, a visual representation of what students would experience within the unit to help teachers see the relationships between the learning events within the project. It showed a chain of learning events that depicts the student's learning experience as a compelling story in project-based learning and provides a holistic view of how each learning event is essential to the overall narrative, but also how the standards and the concepts of the unit are connected to one another. As you can see, the driving question is what drives the inquiry, leads students to ask questions that pertain to the standards. What is hand sanitizer made out of, which leads to investigations about matter, and how do we create hand sanitizer, which would lead to investigations for chemical reactions. Basically, this real world context creates a more natural progression or transition into the investigations that have already been planned in the previous year. At the start of the unit, teachers showed students images and videos of stores with empty shelves due to panic buying and focused particularly on the hand sanitizer shortages. After some discussion, the question was asked, how might we create our hand sanitizer for our classmates due to shortages? This driving question led to a number of need-to-know questions like, what is hand sanitizer made out of? What type of matter is it made out of? This led to Matt, Mary-Kate, and Sean leading learning activities designed by the G5 science team, where students researched, investigated, and experimented to learn about what is matter, how it's subdivided into smaller particles, too small to see, and how matter is conserved when it changes form, and how materials can be identified based on the measurements of a variety of properties. Once students identified what type of matter hand sanitizer was made out of, it was time to create it and learn how mixing of two or more substances resulted in new substances. Part of this investigation requires students to know how much aloe vera, distilled water, and 90% alcohol needed to be added for a 42 milliliter amount of hand sanitizer. Students used the knowledge and skills that they gained in math class to make their calculations. Once they were ready, classes went into the science lab to create their hand sanitizer using cylinders, beakers, and scales to measure the different substances to ultimately mix the substances until it became one substance, hand sanitizer. Special thanks to James Shinge for helping me out plan this science lab investigation. 
Check the description to find the slide deck I used that contains the science lab procedures. Sean Smith was able to have students design labels for their generic containers using the Canva app. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you saw how important it is to provide students with a real world context. This context is what led to sustained inquiry, asking questions that led to investigations for important content. It takes any unit and creates a narrative where students are the heroes and teachers are the mentors. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more project-based learning videos like this. I would love to shout out the following people, and of course the students who participated in this learning experience for making all of this possible. Until next time, stay perpetually in beta, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.